Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Debra. I've been making jewelry for 16 years now as a hobby. And uh, two years ago, I decided to make it my job because I love it so much. So uh, for today's project, we will be using um, materials from Jesse James Beads from their uh, Love Yourself collection. Uh, so let me just turn you around and I will show you what you will need. So here is a list of what you will need and I will show you everything you will need. So I, I, I have chosen a, a beautiful bead mix from the Love Yourself collection. It's called Princess Heart and it has beautiful, beautiful pink beads. And I have chosen golden findings to go with them. You could choose uh, either gold or silver, but I prefer gold, so I have chosen this. I am not exactly sure if it is still available on their website, but uh, you can use any bead mix that you like and replace the beads just to your taste, to suit your taste. But these, um, the silver and the gold findings are available for purchase uh, on the website. I think they're about $9 a pack. So you will need this. You will need silver silk chain, capture chain. I have chosen golden color. You will need a chain of your choice. You will need uh, findings. So you will need um, a clasp. You will need here it is. You will need a clasp and jump rings, a few jump rings. You will need a silver silk double strand clasp. So it's like this and you have two channels for the silver silk. I have chosen also the color gold. And you will need a few head pins and eye pins. I don't have eye pins anymore in gold, so I have 22 gauge wire. And I will show you how you can make your own eye pins with the wire. If you have pre-made, that's okay too. And uh, as I said, we will be making a necklace today, but I have a surprise because we will also be making a pair of earrings. So you will also need earring hooks. For the chain, you need two pieces of one and a half inches long, which is about four and a half centimeters. I have this beautiful chain, gold plated chain like this. So you need two pieces. You need also two pieces uh, about eight inches in length, which is about 20 centimeters here. And this is for the necklace part. Uh, you will need silver silk capture chain, as I said, two pieces also. One which is uh, five inches long and one which is five and a half inches long. So that is 13 centimeters and 15 centimeters. Okay, and that's about it. So now, the first thing we will be doing is... Ah, also, you will need your regular set of pliers, so chain nose, cutters, round nose, and I will also use um, nylon jaw pliers. This is for the silver stick findings, not to scratch them because it would be uh, a shame to scratch them. They are so beautiful. So the first thing we will be doing is, uh, and the beads, I haven't shown you the beads. So here is what I have chosen. I have chosen these. So in the pack, the princess heart bead mix. So I sh have shown you this. This is what, uh, what I have left. But the beads I have chosen, there is this beautiful Tensha heart bead. I want this as my focal. I have these beautiful check glass oval beads. I have some pearls. I think these are about 
10 millimeter I think itty bitty tiny uh, rondelles crystal rondelles these are four millimeter I think and drops crystal drops I have chosen these for my necklace so the first thing we will be doing is create the centerpiece of the necklace so we will need only the check glass the rondelles and the pearls and we will be needing also our um, head pins so here are my head pins and I need the silver silk also so you have a longer piece and a shorter piece here is what I want to make I want to place my check glass uh, oval beads inside the silver silk like this so uh, evenly spaced so I want to uh, eyeball it you can measure if you want to I will just eyeball it but I will try to be as even as possible so I want to do this I will use my head pins upside down like this so the ball point on my head pins will go here on the top I will show you I will try to bring you closer so you can really see what I am doing here so as I said I will put my head pins like this so uh, the rondelles will go on the top like this and the pearls will go on the bottom like this and I will just pass my head pins through like that through the silver silk and through the beads so I will try to put on the first two these two because I need them to be about the middle these two and then these so I will put these on the side here and I need this too. so I also need two head pins like this so you can measure if you like here take a ruler see I have about five and a half inches maybe a bit more and I have the shorter piece which is about five inches long so uh, I want to be two and a half but I will be doing I will be eyeballing it okay so I will take these I want them I will try to take them uh, together if I can so place it really in the middle uh, it's all right if you don't get it right the first time you can always take it out and redo it so I will try to make it like this so I am taking my first rondelle on the head pin like this then I will go through the silver silk then the check glass okay it's not always easy on the first pass okay then once again through the silver silk which is on the bottom this time so you see it went right out so I will put it back on like so okay there we go like so so I have my rondelle the silver silk check glass the second piece of silver silk and then the pearl I will go through that pearl like so okay now here I will be picking it up so we have this so this is the top strand the shorter one this is the bottom strand this is the longer one okay so I have put on my head pin the tiny rondelles 
through the silver silk, then the check glass, then I went through the silver silk, then the pearl. Okay, now I will be making a loop, a simple loop, not the wrapped loop. I don't have enough wire here, but even if I had, I wouldn't because then I want to attach dangles and if I make it a wrapped loop, it will be more complicated. You will see. So now I will be bending my wire like so, 90 degrees, oops, like this. And then I want to measure, so I take the width of my finger to know the length which I need. I cut here, and then I take my round nose pliers, whoops, come here. And then I will be making a loop, simple loop, like so. Okay, see, I have a simple loop. Okay, so we have this. Now I will be making exactly the same thing with the second one. I, so once again, I am taking the rondelle I want to see how much space I want to leave between my beads. So I want something that is about, uh, um, I'd say a little bit over a quarter of an inch. Let's see what it's, yeah, maybe half an inch. It's closer to half an inch between my bead, maybe a bit, bit too much. But you can see, and in centimeters, that would be some one and a half to two centimeters between the beads. Two centimeters may be a bit much, so one and a half should be good. So I'm going through the silver silk. Now I have my rondelle. You can see here, you can see better. Like this. Opa. There you go. So once again, I have my rondelle on the head pin. I will go through the silver silk. Like this. Then I will go through the check glass. Then once again through the silver silk. there and then I need my pearl and once again I will be making my loop so bend your wire cut it to size whoops come here cut it to size and then make your loop like so. Okay. Now I have two of them in place. Here. I will put another one here, another one here, and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so here is what we have. Now what I want to do is I want to attach here the, um, the ends here, the silver silk ends. So I may need to trim a bit uh, here on the sides, but that's all right. If I need it, I will do it. So I want it to lay uh, correctly, not too long, but not too short, beautiful. So. Here, I think it's, I want it to be about the same on both sides. You might, as I said, you may measure. I just will eyeball it. So uh, if you plan to leave this much, then leave another two millimeter, um, 
yeah two three millimeters more because that end cap will take a bit of space so here you don't want it to be too close here because these beads are quite large so it will not lay beautiful like this like this should be good so i'm going to trim my silver first of all what is a nice thing to do is to put a bit of wire uh, just on the place you want to trim just below like this through the silver silk so that it will not move when you will be cutting and I will be leaving uh, two balls the equivalent of two balls inside and trim the rest here so here we go I will do the same on the second strand here okay Oops, it's still attached. So I'm going to cut the line here. Okay, push the bead back inside. And now I can just take this out. I will take my finding. And here you can pinch the ends. If it won't lay straight, you can pinch, pinch the ends. I will put it inside both channels at once, like so, here, hold it, and then this is where I will use my nylon jaw pliers so that I will not mar the beautiful, whoops, I took it out, okay. It's all right, just start again. If you have a ball that is coming out, you can trim it. It's all right. And now try again. Okay. And now I will use my nylon jaw pliers like so to squeeze it shut around the silver silk right so like so here you go there done oops no not yet. And then you will be doing the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now we can attach the embellishment. So we will need the two pieces of one and a half inch long chain. We will need the drops and the heart. First of all, so I want to make a dangle with that heart, beautiful tensure heart. So take the head pin, go through the heart and make a loop. Here, I hope you can see what I made. So I bend, I bend my wire. I will be cutting it to size, just like I did with the silver silk. And uh, yeah, so make a loop like so. There we go. Now I have my heart. Here, there, you can see better. Okay, and now I want to take the piece of wire or you can take your... Uh, um, I pin, but I don't have any, so I will be making my own. I will show you. Take your round nose pliers, bend the wire, take it around like so. And here I am making a wrap loop for extra security, but you don't have to. I may make another, another. And 
like so. There we go. I will cut the extra wire. Like so. And now I will put my drop on the wire here and I will make another wrap loop so once again bend the wire turn it over and wrap okay make it look good cut the excess wire and arrange make it everything look pretty and neat tuck your ends so that you will not hurt yourself there we go okay now i will attach this like so i want to attach this like so and to my heart to make my dangle like so so you need your chain nose open here twist open the loop you made pass through one loop and close it then take the other drop open the loop beside it like so put your drop inside and close that loop also not to lose your dangle we always twist your loops open and close never pull them because you will get them deformed so now i have this and i will attach my heart like so you can use an extra jump ring which is what i will do because it will lay it will lay prettier so i have my jump ring i may take a small one the big one will not look as pretty so i will take my jump ring my pliers get it open like so by twisting then i will take one um, if i want it to lay pretty like so yes i will go through the loop of one uh, drop then i will slide my heart then i will put on the other um on the drop it it's a bit tricky okay like so and then i will close my jump ring whoops also by twisting by twisting it shut here where it, that's where it is yeah here so twist this twist it shut and make sure it's completely shut like so okay here you see like so now i will attach the chains as the angles you don't have to you can also leave it without chain but i think it is pretty so i will open here the loop put the chain on and twist my loop closed just like we did previously and this is the tricky part because i need to open this loop without losing the drop i have on and then get the chain through it like so and then get it shut once again twist it shut once again there i have one and you will put the second one on and come back 
Okay, so here is what you have with the chain attached here, the dangles and the heart. Now we need to, atta to attach the chain to make our necklace. So you will take the first uh, end of chain you have, you will take a jump ring twist it open, attach it to the end of the silver silk here, slide one end of your chain through, Oops. like so, and close it back up. And make sure you close it completely all the way because you don't want your chain to slip through and lose your necklace, it would be too bad. Okay, like so. Make sure it is tightly shut. You can also use oval jump rings to do this for extra security. So here is what you get. And now I shall attach the clasp. Whoops, here is what you get, like so. And now I will attach the clasp. So same thing with a jump ring. Take a jump ring. Twist it open. Slide your clasp on. Whoops, I am not in front of the camera. Sorry, guys. Then pass the chain through the jump ring. And close your jump ring. Again, make sure it is closed all the way. Twist it back and forth if you have to. Make sure it is completely... Come here. completely completely shut there we go now see my clasp is attached so our necklace is now complete there you have the whole piece Up. and the chain which is attached like that, I shall take you a bit there so that you can see it completed like so. Okay, so I have uh, promised you a surprise. The surprise is a pair of earrings. So we will be making matching earrings. I will put this to the side. Now you will need two head pins. Two eye pins, I don't have eye pins, so I will take a piece of wire, 22 gauge, a few beads, and a ear hook. So, take your head pin, pass it through the heart, which was in the metal mix, and a tiny rondelle, which is the same as was on the necklace. Then bend your wire, Cut it to size and make a loop just like we did previously. Same technique, easy steps. Like so. So you have one loop. Then take your head pin. I don't have any head pin, so I will take my wire. Cut it to size, it's a bit too long, so I will cut it a bit, like so. Then make your loop, like, like so. Pass your beads on. Like so. And then make another loop, so bend your wire 19 degrees, cut it to size, and make another loop. Okay, easy peasy. Now you need to make sure that both your loops are facing the same direction. So I will take my pliers and rotate my loops to make them face the same direction like this. All right, now I need to take my chain nose pliers. 
I will get my loop open and I will slide on the charm I made previously. I shall close my loop back up by twisting it shut and it's a bit too big so I will need to adjust it. I need to make it pretty like so. So I have attached my charm and now I need to attach my ear hook. So again, I will twist open. You see my ear hook? It has a small loop here. I will twist it open like so and slide my earring on. Then I will twist it closed like so and you get a gorgeous pair of earrings to match the beautiful necklace we just made like so so i will take you a bit closer so you can see everything together like this here okay so here is the necklace and earrings that we have just made Okay guys, sorry about that. Uh, I just wanted to show you that I've made uh, another version of this necklace. See, I will try to show you with different beads. It's exactly the same principle. Okay. Okay, so there we are done. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you like this video. And I also want to say a big, big, big thank you to Jesse James Beads for the gorgeous beads and materials that they provided for me. See you again soon, guys, I hope. Bye.